Flat Earthers, this is Zach. And this is Karen B. Well, I don't know if you guys have seen these pictures and videos before, but they are everywhere now. This one, for instance, was taken in Lake Punch Train, and some people say it proves the curvature. I don't know if these guys have ever done any research on that, but we're gonna debunk that anyway. We're gonna show you an experiment. So before we get to that, I want you to see what some people say about these pictures. We got someone here that some of you may probably recognize. His channel is dedicated to correct the flat earthers. And I appreciate that. I really do. But if he has something wrong, then I think we should return the favor, right? So let's just listen to him. And you probably have heard of the Lake Pontchartrain uh, imagery. There's a rare case where you can sight along just like you're sighting along a pool cue, and that is these power lines. And these power lines are exactly in a straight line. Power lines are exactly in a straight line. Power lines are exactly in a straight line. Exactly, exactly in a straight line. They're all exactly the same height. You can actually photograph this from either end, and it does curve. And uh, Soundly uh, has a wonderful channel. Uh, I highly recommend that you subscribe. And uh, you literally can see these power lines curving over uh, the, the earth. So he said that those power lines are exactly on a straight line. And they are all exactly the same height. Now, I'm not going to argue the same height because I have no idea if they are really the same height. I don't even know where he got that information from. He must have done some good research on it. So let's say they are really the same height, okay? But are they really on a straight line? Let's find out. This one is easy. All we gotta do is go to Google Earth and find the power line in Lake Pontchartrain and see for ourselves if they are really on a straight line. Well, I found them and I'm just gonna draw a straight line from the beginning to the end and see if he is right. Well, he is not. They are not on a straight line. What's up with that? Should we just let it go like they do when we make a mistake? Did he just draw a line from the beginning to the middle? Did he even check that on Google Earth? I don't think so. But here is something that I want to point out before we do the experiments. Google Earth is like a photo puzzle. They take pictures from high altitude planes and put them next to each other. Then they wrap them around the globe and they try to make them fit. But they fail when it comes to long bridges or power lines like this one. If you look carefully at the lake, you will see a change of colors. And between these colors, you often see a distortion of a building or a line or even a person. The question is why? Well, if I take too many pictures of a flat table with some stuff on it and try to stitch them together in Photoshop, I will have no problem at all even if I change the height of the camera. There will be no distortion. The only problem I will have is the quality of each picture, right? So when NASA takes pictures from high altitude planes, the quality and the clouds or atmosphere should be their only problem. But that's not what we see on Google Earth. They should have no problem in wrapping pictures around the globe if the Earth is really a globe. But when would they have a problem? Well, they would have a problem if they take pictures of a flat Earth and try to wrap them around the globe or vice versa. So, if you follow these cables, you will see how they are making them curve to the right to make them end in the right position on the other side of the lake. But if they put them on a straight line, there will be a distortion on the shore. But this does not mean that the power lines are not curved at all in the real world. Yes, they are, and we're going to test each picture separately. So in the first picture, they kind of look like they are on a straight line. Not 100% a straight line, but we can consider that as a straight line just to make them happy. As you can see, the yellow line is not in the middle anymore. Alright. Well, you can try that yourself if you don't believe me. Same thing happens with the second picture. Now let's move to the last one. Check this out. We're going to start from this first power line and we will move to the last one in the same picture. See how they are curving in one picture? The length 
of all this line is 10 miles and the heights could be around 180 feet and the pictures that we have are obviously not taken from the ground or sea level so if we assume that they are taken from only 10.5 feet the viewer can see 155 feet of the last power line only 25 feet will be hidden behind the supposed curvature so all the power lines should be visible to the viewer if the power lines are not on a straight line and you are on a flat plane it will look bent to the right or to the left but of course from a far distance they will look like they are going behind the curvature because the horizon line is 3, 4 or 5 miles away from you depending on your altitude. But the last power lines that we proved they are curved are 10 miles away from you. And that makes them look like they are going behind the curvature because they are behind the horizon line. If they weren't behind it, you would be able to tell they are not behind the curvature. Got it? Before we go into details, let me remind some people of this. When we did the laser experiments in Lake Palatine in Budapest, many of you said that the curvature cannot be detected in a lake because it's like a container and the water has to be flat so the experiment should be done in the ocean. Now the same people are telling me that they see the curvature in Lake Pontchartrain which is actually an estuary. Oh, contradictions. But you know what? Contradictions do not exist. Whenever you think you are facing a contradiction, check your premises. You will find that one of them is wrong. So, globe believers, check your premises, okay? Now I'm gonna let my friend Karen B demonstrate to you that if the power lines are not on a straight line, they will make a flat plane look curved. Yes, you heard me. A demonstration, something you guys never do. Karen, what's up? Okay. As we know now that the power lines are not on a straight line, we decided to do an experiment to illustrate that. So we placed the Lego towers in a curved line on a table that is perfectly flat as you can see here. And the towers are all the same height. Now, as we lower the camera, the horizon gets closer to us, but the edge of the table becomes invisible. Or let's say the edge of the table disappears behind the new horizon line that we created by lowering the camera. Please bear in mind that on this table there are no atmospheric conditions that make it more difficult to see what is behind our horizon line in the real world. Also bear in mind that this table is only 6 feet long. Imagine what this would look like if it was 23 miles long. Now let's take a look at the Lego towers. Do they look like they are going behind the curvature? Or is it just an optical illusion? Look at the top of these towers. Now look at the bottom. If we can get the horizon line closer to us than the last four towers, then those four towers will look like they are behind the curvature. If we zoom in a lot, we will get them back into view. But of course, if there was any atmospheric conditions or refraction, it would be impossible to bring them back into view. So in the real world, no matter how good your telescope is, what is behind the horizon line that is covered up by the non-uniform density transition zone will stay behind it. If we put a piece of glass on the horizon of this table, then things will start to disappear behind it and there is no way you can see them again. Even if this piece of glass is only one inch high, the Titanic would disappear behind it because as it moves away from you, it becomes smaller and smaller until it finally disappears behind it. And of course, if that piece of glass was thicker and higher, it could disappear before it gets smaller. That's how the atmosphere works, and we will talk about this in detail in another video. But for now, let's just enjoy watching the curvature on a flat table. You should be honest with yourself and investigate more before you bring up such an argument. If those power lines prove that the earth is round, then these Lego towers prove that the table is round too, right? Wrong. The table is flat and the Lego towers are not on a straight line and neither are the power lines. And here are some pictures of a 23 miles bridge that is in the same lake but shows no curvature. You know why? Because that bridge 
from these positions is on a straight line. If you take another picture from where the bridge is curving a little bit, it will give you the same illusion of a curvature. And here is another picture of the same bridge that shows that. Look carefully at this point right here. Do you see how the bridge is curving? Is it because of the curvature? No, of course not. The bridge is also curved like the power lines. As you can see here in Google Earth, it's curved. That is why you see a curve. If you take the same shots of other bridges in the world, you will get shocked and the earth will always look flat to you. New Orleans is called the city of second chances, but not even the globe gets a second chance here. Curved water has not been found, not here or anywhere. And contradictions do not exist. Whenever you think you're facing a contradiction, check your premises. You'll find that one of them is wrong. Thanks for watching.